What's going on, guys? Welcome back to another video here on the San Mario Sports Network. And you see it by the title. It just says, let's talk. And this is something in a situation that I wanted to, quite honestly, get off of my chest uh, for a while and, and, and kind of sit here and talk to you guys uh, and let you know some things. And, and I guess kind of what's been happening in my life. And for any of you who really uh, do watch my videos and care, you'll, you'll know you actually sit here. Uh, and, and listen and, and uh, kind of just hear me explain some things and just talk to you guys. So, uh, as you notice, the past couple of weeks, videos have been very scarce. Uh, they've been not, you know, pun intended because, you know, scarce how he fell off of YouTube. Anyways, so videos have been very scarce. Uh, there haven't been a lot of videos. If it has, it's pretty much uh, either been filler content or stuff that's not about the Dolphins. And that's not because I want to change my channel and I don't want to talk about the Dolphins anymore. I mean, this is pretty much my life, football and soccer right there. Uh, for hell, Zlatan Ibrahimovic is my background right now. Um, but it's more so been, uh, and this is, I guess, something a little personal, but I kind of wanted to get off my chest here. Uh, the fact that I've been very worried about, um, just myself, my health, uh, in general. I, I mean, a lot of you guys obviously notice I'm a big guy. Uh, I, I'm not really, you know, on the lighter scale, I guess you could say. So I've been kind of, uh, worried a lot about my health. Uh, there have been a lot of things that happen. Uh, and I'm the type of person, I'm sure there's a lot of you guys out there, that when something happens to you, you probably think it's uh, the worst thing possible. Uh, and I'm one of those people. I look at something, I hear something, uh, see something that's happening to me, and I immediately think that the worst possible thing is happening. Uh, and I have the worst possible thing possible. And it sucks. Uh, it's something that uh, has kind of stuck with me for some other things that I'm not really going to you know, get into. But uh, it's something that sucks. It's something that affects me. Uh, and I'm sure it affects a lot of people out there. Uh, and certain things happen. So pretty much uh, I was starting to feel something a couple months ago in February. I ended up getting a pinched nerve because I was on Instagram while I was on the toilet. Uh, and I got back up after my leg fell asleep and then sat back down. And I, that pretty much, I guess, just pinched the nerve. And so I got a pinched nerve. Uh, and it was really scary to me because it's something that I have never felt. And so I just typed, you know, tingly feeling in upper thigh uh, or leg and it pretty much everything came up with uh, diabetes and it's something that freaked the hell out of me uh, I remember just I, I was just constantly looking and looking and looking scared myself to death pretty much uh, and then of course you know after all this happened after that stuff happens uh, in line at Publix supermarket here in uh, Miami and the uh, the four things that happened in the magazines were all about diabetes uh, the next day in um Anyways, um, so, you know, next day uh, in bio, like biology class, uh, we're talking about diabetes and cancer. And so, you know, it doesn't really ease the mind. That's just constantly on your mind for an hour and a half while you're in class. And then while you're just waiting in line trying to buy a, in a, a sandwich, you know, so things weren't nice. Uh, it, it wasn't easing my mind. I ended up going to urgent care and they uh, kind of confirmed what I originally thought, which it was just a pinched nerve, and I, I was okay. I didn't have any symptoms. There was just a pinched nerve, and pretty much that's all it was. Um, and then I started to uh, feel some pain in my, you know, armpit area and my upper thighs and stuff like that. Uh, and I just got really concerned. I scheduled an appointment with a doctor uh, to go have a physical done. <clears throat> and then before the physical could even take place, uh, I ended up. Uh, having a really bad headache and nausea and dizziness and that was uh, one of the alleged symptoms and so I just got really worried it ended up lasting for about three days and I had went to urgent care again uh, they tested my glucose and some other things uh, like and uh, they told me I was fine and I was okay and you know for me that was cool but no blood work had been done I hadn't had a doc I mean urgent care they're doctors but you guys will probably get what I mean I hadn't had a doctor look at me and so it was just kind of concerning for me uh and so once i got to the doctor uh, i was telling him everything told him literally everything that i could possibly tell someone about what i was feeling how i was feeling what was going on in my mind everything like that my body everything uh and he pretty much wanted to do the same thing uh test you know my glucose and see what that was and he came back he told me straight face he told me you're more likely to die by a car accident in miami or suicide uh right now than you are by anything else and um, he just told me that straight to my face. Like, me personally, I'm more likely to die right now. By uh, suicide, I'm not suicidal. Uh, suicide, um, just wanted to put that out there, not suicidal. But he just said, you're more likely to die by that or a car accident in Miami uh, than I am by anything else at this point in time. 
Uh, I am overweight. I need to lose it probably. Well, what my goal is 30 pounds uh, that I need to lose to get down. Uh, and yeah, he told me that if you continue to gain weight, uh, then it'll be a, a point where you will get diabetes. And he said that he wanted to take blood work just in case. Uh, and I wanted to get HIV tested. Like I said, this is, you know, a little bit of TMI, but I wanted to get HIV tested. So he just said, you know, let's take it just in case. Uh, I got my HIV test results yesterday, came back, you know, don't have HIV. Uh, and then I was expecting the rest of my blood work to come in on Thursday. Uh, and it actually came in today. And they told me that my blood work all came back normal. So I, I can't lie to you. Uh, for someone who was really worried and freaking out about something like this and that it was constantly on his mind uh, and was distracting himself with homework and anything else he could possibly do, which is a good thing technically, but anything he could possibly do to get his mind off of thinking of that. Um, I was about to go into gospel choir this morning uh, and I was talking to my friend. I went to get day cool because I was feeling a little sick and my dad was feeling sick, so I was going to get it for him too. Um, and I, I got off of that phone call and I almost you know, started to cry. I was tearing up a little bit as I was talking to my friend, someone who I consider my brother, um, Otto, you know, I'm talking about you, obviously. Uh, and it was just something that was pretty emotional for me uh, in terms of my, my mindset. But this is also a video, I guess, not only for me to tell you why the, the videos have been scarce in terms of, you know, the fact that I've just been so worried. Uh, and so I haven't really had my mind on YouTube. I've been trying to do things to distract myself. Uh, so <clears throat> that's let you know why. Uh, there haven't been frequent videos and videos surrounding the Dolphins. Uh, and also just to use this as a marker. So today, uh, you know, today I am uh, 257 pounds and I am extremely overweight in my mind and obviously in the doctor's mind as well. Um, I want to, today is April 10th, 2018, uh, 7.49 p.m. as I'm recording this uh, second half of the video uh, my goal is to get to 225 pounds. I am 257 right now. So I want to kind of use this as something that I can go back to. Uh, and every day I will, you know, every day that I post or every day, something like that, I will be trying to get something and marking something uh, to continue that. But I'm trying my best. The first thing I did was cut out soda. Uh, I've been done that for since I got the pinched nerve pretty much. I've had it here and there, but uh, I pretty much cut out soda. Uh, and it has worked a tremendous amount in terms of me feeling good. Uh, I haven't drank soda in a while. I still drink. I mean, I drink a lot of water. I drink like, I don't know where it is. It's somewhere over there, but those like three liter jugs of Zephyr Hill. I drink one, like one and a half of those a day, pretty much. I drink a lot of water. Uh, it was just pretty much, I'm cutting out soda. I've cut out fast food from my diet or like from my eating consumption for a while. I've cut out fast food. Uh, so pretty much this is just kind of like a, a, a timestamp for me as well to say today I am 257 pounds uh, April 10th 2008 and I want to get down to 225 so I just wanted to kind of let you guys know what was up uh, kind of let you guys know what my goal was and how I'm going to do this and then I guess every month uh, every 10th day of the month I will give an update with uh, my weight and, and how everything's going stuff like that i know it's not really dolphins content but it's something that uh, i want to put out there so hope you guys are very much enjoy i know it's lengthy i know it's very monotone but I, I hope you guys do understand i will probably still continue uh my hiatus for another week and then videos should resume 100 percent normally uh on monday so don't expect videos this week don't expect a stream this week uh, and for those of you who don't understand and you want to be a jerk or whatever, you unsubscribe if you want to, uh, that's fine with me, but I'm going to worry about myself, uh, first because that's the same pathway that I went down, uh, around fall a couple years ago when I first started really gaining some views on YouTube. Uh, I kind of put YouTube as the forefront and put everybody else, uh, as the back seat. And I'm not going to do that again. Uh, I'm trying to get everything on track. So I will fuse YouTube into my life. Again, but uh, I will not, I'm not leaving. I will resume normal content Monday. So like I said, don't expect any videos this week. Uh, I'm just letting you know if there is one, it might be a mock draft for the Dolphins, just a slim simulator thing. Don't expect anything. Everything will kick back into gear next Monday. I promise. Hope you guys did very much enjoy this video. I will see you guys next time. And as always, peace.